So I had a very interesting day today. Someone gave me some LSD recently and I decided to microdose it because it was given to me in, in a format where you were supposed to microdose it. It wasn't given to me in a way, it was given to me by someone who was very well experienced with taking LSD, right? Acid, LSD, whatever you want to call it. And it was given to me in, in portions so I could microdose it. So, I mean, I've done this before, but I decided to take it again uh, this morning. And, and here are my findings, and I posted about it on my Instagram stories. But what I noticed was that there was no anxiety or paranoia or any pre-programmed judgment of my life or, or how life is meant to operate. It was like being, it was like starting from a completely new slate. There was no worry, there was no no trauma, there was no overhanging feeling of, of insecurity. It was really, really fascinating. It felt liberating and, and quite godly, in fact. I felt, I felt like, I felt very present and in the moment. And there was, you know, everything I've ever, I've ever been troubled by was not troubling me today. And that's why Silicon Valley entrepreneurs use this to be creative. Because you can't be creative if you're anxious all the time. You can't be creative if you're in your feels and scared and traumatized and missing an ex-girlfriend or missing an ex-boyfriend or mourning the death of someone. It's almost damn near impossible to be creative in those instances. You're only your best and most creative when you are completely at ease. That's why they say your best ideas come to you in the shower because you're very present and in the moment and it's subconsciously something that you do and then your brain can go wandering off in its own direction. And that's what happened today. Microdosing that LSD today was so game-changing and it really made me think, how is alcohol legal? And LSD is not. If we were to take that in a regulated, controlled environment, it would change most of our lives. It would change your perspective on life and how you looked at life and would heal you from this trauma and this pain. Now, a lot of um, ex-soldiers military who suffer from PTSD are being given doses of LSD, MDMA, magic mushrooms, and ketamine. Those are the four recreational drugs that are now becoming more common to treat and to be used as therapy. Alcohol has been, drink, has been drunk for thousands of years. Alcohol is poison, my friends. You are literally poisoning your body. How that shit is legal is beyond me. It's legal because it's a huge business and companies make billions of dollars and influencers now are launching their own brands and selling for hundreds of millions, if not billions of dollars of worth of, you know, people are buying their companies for billions of dollars. It's capitalism. Capitalism is people capitalizing on scenarios where the sheep, like yourself, will be buying this crap and guzzling it on the weekends and waking up hungover most Sundays and most days. Meanwhile, the celebrity that endorsed this stuff is on a helicopter trip around LA. So alcohol is the biggest scam that's been presented to our society. And when you take a microdose magic mushrooms on Saturday, actually, when I went to this amazing Halloween party, and I didn't drink much because I didn't feel I needed to. But today when I microdosed that, that LSD, that acid, it was such a good... Uh, it was so, it was profound that, that I, could, I could be so at ease. It was like, you know, people give you drugs, they give you antidepressants and anti-anxiety drugs for this stuff. Pharma gives that to you. And it's got so many side effects. Big Pharma just wants to make money off you. They're producing these pills every time there's an ad on TV in the US. 
It's just another bloody drug to take. And then they list all the side effects at the end. And because they have to. Warning, this could give you headache, disease, heartache, heart palpitations, cancer. It's like, what are you giving me? And so, unfortunately, we are, we the sheep, well, I'm not the sheep, I'm the shepherd, trying to uh, strike the other shepherd to free the people. <laughs> A metaphor for, for God of some sort. But yeah, so, you know, it, 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 it's, it's beyond me that I could take this, this substance and microdose it the tiniest, 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 tiniest amount. I took literally the tiniest little blob upon waking at about 8 a.m. And it's still here. It still hasn't completely dissipated from my body. But like I said to you, no anxiety, no paranoia, no pain, clear-minded, feeling good, feeling ready to tackle what I need to tackle. And then a friend of mine said, oh, that may, you must be feeling really efficient. And I said, no, it's not Adderall. Adderall is what's being used to get lots of tasks done, and it has a lot of side effects. LSD is not like that. Microdosing LSD, obviously, look, if you take a big dose of LSD, guys, it's a completely different scenario. I am not recommending you take a big dose of LSD right now. That is not, that's a conversation for a whole other video. Microdosing is very different. You know, you're not going to freak out from a microdose. It just sits in the background and, you know, what I realize, because I'm, I'm smart enough and emotionally intelligent enough and, and old enough now to have experienced all these things, that, that I could feel that it, it was so clear-minded. I, I, I felt a sense of clarity. I felt clean. You know, I made sure I ate well today. Obviously, don't go and eat crap food. And the interesting thing is, you know, I hit a personal best in my workout today. I hit a personal best when I was doing dumbbell chest presses. You know, I was, I was pushing 120 pounds on each arm. That was a record that I pushed today. Because I think what happened is the acid made me feel fearless. Like the movie Limitless, remember that drug NZT from the movie Limitless? The acid made me feel fearless. And before I used to be scared to pick up that way and think, oh, I might hurt myself, I might damage myself. Today I went for it, and as challenging as it was, you see my chest is bloody pumped as hell. You can see the, look, I mean, what the hell, that was, I never see it like this, it's insane. Like you can properly see my chest today. And that's from pushing a stupid amount of weight in the gym, which usually I would be very scared to do. But today we felt up for the challenge for some reason, because it looks like what, what LSD does is it removes any sense of fear, anxiety, pain, trauma. It's a clean slate. You start fresh. It's fascinating. Now, will I do it again tomorrow? Will I do it every day? The answer is no. I will not be reliant on any drug every day. Not the way you want to operate. Tomorrow, I'll go back to being my sober self and I'll see how that goes. It's another experiment to see how that goes the day after acid. But I hope that I've learned something from this and I hope that you've learned something from this video. And I said, you know, don't go and do a massive tab of it. Um, but I would like you all to drink less alcohol. I really would. It would change your life. I would like you to attempt to try things like microdosing acid and see how you feel. I would like you to try and solve any of your trauma, your pain, your anxiety, your emotional instability. You know, if you're going through a tough time, you really need to start considering what's going to help you here. Drinking alcohol is not going to help you guys. It's going to make you so much worse. So, you know, that's, that's my preach for the day. And it was a fascinating day. Tomorrow I'll go back to being sober and I'll try this again next week. And I hope this video has been helpful for you. And I hope that you can truly find something which, which makes you feel better from whatever you're going through right now. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe and leave a comment and let me know if you've ever done this before and how it actually felt. But yeah, I'm enjoying delivering the content. Love you guys. And I'll catch you in the next one.